Omar al-Bashir returns to court to learn his fate after authorities recovered more than $130 million from his home in April. Months of protest over food shortages and hyperinflation had led to his ouster by the military. Bashir's pleaded not guilty to charges of corruption and bribery. The sums of money that were found in the possession of the president is not a crime, whether it was $1 million or 100. It's not a crime according to the bylaws of the Central Bank of Sudan. Trading in foreign currency is what constitutes a crime, and we believe that we're left with two charges, one related to illicit gain and accepting gifts, and these don't apply in the case of the president and our point of view, because those offering gifts were not seeking any services in return. In addition, the president is not a public official to be held accountable in this way. Bashir is also charged with the death of anti-regime protesters who advocated his fall and for plotting the 1989 coup that brought him to power. Critics say they aren't expecting a fair ruling because many of the judges are Bashir's appointees. Concerns shared by the people from Darfur who say they are still waiting for Bashir's extradition to the International Criminal Court to face charges of war crimes, crimes against humanity and genocide. But Sudan's military insists that it will try him in the country instead, like it has done in this corruption case. Adeshewa Josh, TRT World.